Hi Scorpio, this is going to be your art channeled message. I channel me channel messages through art, creativity, and much, much more. I really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself, within your journey, and within everything around you because we all start from zero, which is just a blank canvas. What's special about my art and my readings is it's like one big optical illusion or like the smaller picture versus the big picture. Everything always makes sense or like adds up and turns into the overall art and the overall message. There's also a reason I describe what I draw sometimes rather than actually show it to you, especially for these because I want you to interpret, interpret it yourself. So kind of like visualize it as I'm saying it. And sometimes I'll speak in metaphors or it'll be like not like in your face or literal. That's special too. So yeah. If you like a personal reading, all that's down below. And all of my messages are timeless, which means you can get anything here. Whenever you come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. What I started drawing for you was a person holding a platter or holding food like a waiter. I kept hearing on a silver platter, like on a silver platter. It sounds like something a rich person would say. Usually at restaurants, presentation is the most important besides taste because that's a part of it looking expensive. Like bring it to me on a silver platter. I'm getting right now, presentation is key for you. Take pride in your appearance. Wear clothes that flatter your body type. I'm seeing this is the equivalent, equivalent of looking rich or looking like expensive meals, even if that's not the case. You always want to look your best because you never know what opportunity will present itself, AKA being served to you aka something that comes your way i feel like that's exactly what's going to happen it's like being served something on a silver platter when you look your best feel your best etc if you want the rich treatment if you want the royal treatment then look the part act like it On a silver platter can even indicate receiving something with a little to no effort. For example, so-and-so expects everything handed to them on a silver platter, even though they're really valuable for nothing or nothing they do is like valuable. I even see that is the equivalent to of like, maybe not necessarily being rich. It's just looking the part, having like value in yourself. You know what I mean? You've, everyone's heard that saying before, on a silver platter. It's very similar to how people put gold on foods or donuts for no reason. It's like there's really no taste or difference in it. It's just to make it look like bougie or expensive. It's like, oh, there's gold in my food, but what else? Gold looks really shiny. Gold looks like this, but what else? You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to look or be treated as such. as such. You just take pride in yourself, which then in turn attracts all kinds of attention. I'm also hearing catering, like the literal catering food, but also someone that's catering to your needs. Like when you cater food, that's one less meal you need to worry about. There's no labor, no cooking. You just get the benefit of the result. You just get it handed to you on a silver platter without the actual work involved. Also, people that have enough money tend to take that route to make their lives easier, like a maid, personal chef, waiters, nannies, etc. That all comes with the territory. It's a part of the rich experience. I'm not sure exactly where this is going. Perhaps you're going to get a taste, no pun intended, of a different lifestyle. I'm literally seeing someone, too, tasting food that's being brought out to them. Kind of like how a waiter brings you your food. I was also getting the Three of Cups. Like, as in expensive wines or exp it's like losing my breath. That's weird. <laughs> it's like trying to catch up. 
kind of like expensive wine or expensive bottles, things you get at like restaurants, champagne. It's like cheers. It's almost like you're getting a taste of or bu buying something expensive once in a while just so you can get a taste of it. And I think that's really cool. And served to you on a silver platter. Let's see. Still getting that too, like presentation is everything. You know how like those rich or expensive meals where it's like one little serving, but it has all the garnishes, like ratatouille. Also, when something is served on a silver platter, there's this element of surprise or something being anonymous. You know how they lift it? Like the chef comes up or the waiter comes up and they lift it. And it's like, wow, it's done. We have high honor. Battling or serving in the war is considered high honor. People can respect that because like you're risking your life. It's kind of like you're put on a pedestal or you're seen as a hero. But there's also high honor in a sense where it's like respectable. Like, rich people. Rich people are technically put on a pedestal. They get the fair treatment because they can afford it. So there's something about you, be, you, you being in high honor. Or getting to, like, be in that position even for a short moment. Yeah, like, you're, like, catering. Literally. We have four of cups. I'm gonna start with one by one. To be honest, this gives me the vibe of like someone trying to help, someone trying to make your life easier in the near future, but you're not willing to accept it. Maybe there's guilt behind this on a silver platter thing because when people have the money to do so, usually there's a work behind that money to make their lives easier eventually. Like they had to earn that, it didn't come from nowhere. But often people that get that treatment or can afford it, it's like they don't have to cook, so they order out or they they don't need to watch their kids all the time because they have a nanny. It's just like there's this hesitance to, to accept it. I'm even getting this too is like that's not good enough. Like things have to be a certain way. You're very, you're very picky. So I didn't I didn't ask for that champagne or I didn't ask for that food that's the wrong order. Make it again. Like this is giving a very like spoiled energy. It's like I'm not happy with it. It's like presentation is important to you. If it's not looking its best, if it's not as good as it can be, I don't want it. Two of Wands. I've been seeing you making a choice soon about something regarding looks. It's kind of like people when they're catering or when they're choosing like a wedding cake, they try different ones and then make it a choice. I feel like something about like that is going to happen. You're not gonna like any of them, but then you finally come up with a conclusion. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go with this cake. I'm gonna go with this, this one, because it looks better. Oh my god, that, that's what you need to do. Like, if you're struggling with a decision, just like I said, appearance matters on you right now. Take pride in yourself. Take pride in noticing that as well. Something can taste good, but also has to be, like, visually appealing. It's like, both matter just as much. But I feel like you should lean more towards the one that looks the best. It's like, if you don't want to look at it, what's the point? Six of Wands. I think like the epicenter, like something's going to be the center or like the highlight of something. So it must look the best. Hmm. 
And then the fool. I'm seeing this as like several people, like, I don't want to say going crazy, but kind of seeing this as the visual of the Ten of Wands. It's like trying to make everything perfect, like finishing touches for this King of Pentacles. Having something ready for this person, for this person that's ready to spend money on it. Someone that's ready to splurge. Served on a silver platter. He does nothing or you do nothing. And then here these other people are. This literally feels like celebrity status, even though I don't think you guys are celebrities. It's very similar for you, like presentation is important, but it's like coming into contact with someone that's held to, it's like high honor. Some type of good encounter. It's very similar to how like celebrities can visit for lunch or stop at like this small town cafe. Like that happens a lot near me where like an actor, a famous actor will walk in and people will be like, oh my God, they're tasting our food, our small business. It's like people do that all the time. So this is what it feels like. Like getting to create something for an imp important official person. Kind of seeing this as a waiter as well. It's like on a silver platter. Looks like he's holding something in his hand. Didn't I say that in the beginning? It's like you never know who you're going to encounter, so make sure you're doing your best work. Make sure you're having your like best face forward. Isn't that what it's called? Your best work. You never know when you're going to get discovered. You never know what's going to happen. So I'm seeing that's what this is. It's like a blank canvas. It's kind of seeing this as the visual of like painting. Working on a project. I'm going to get a card. Yeah, with like the Four of Cups and the King of Pentacles, it feels like someone that has money or it's like you don't want to like piss them off. You want to please them. You want them to be happy because they're major. They're a big deal. It's like out of all places, they're here. It kind of reminds you too of like when an important person, like I said, goes to a small town. It's like they stick out more. They heard it like the queen is coming. Everyone get in position. <laughs> Shapeshifter. Skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. Ability to see the potential in everything. Projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. Yeah, like looking rich is kind of like projecting an image. But there's many layers to it. Ability to see the potential in everything. Usually something, the potential is only seen when it looks a certain way. It's like you can look at it and go, I'll move forward with this. I'll do this. I like the idea of it. I'll take that risk. Shapeshifter. Your appearance. It's like everything is going to change. I don't want to say some of you like don't take pride in yourselves, but it's like something's just going to like click at the right time because of something it's, like right around the corner. I see this too as like something everybody wants. King of Pentacles looks rich, if you ask me. Like grapes, seeing that too, there's like water to wine, expensive wine, lavish things. It's like you can see it. Okay, guys, 
that's the end of this art channeled message please like subscribe support the channel in any way you can i'd really 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 appreciate it appreciate it and yeah presence is everything looks are everything but not in a bad way you just never know what can come your way and i think that's the point Okay, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. I just finished your reading. And it's one of those things where it's like an unexpected download or maybe this is just like a conclusion where we reflect even more. I felt really drawn to speak on this again. It looks exactly like my drawing. It's almost like I said it looked like a waiter. Just like a waiter holds something on a silver platter, it's like that's what the rose is in this situation. There's a rose, and the rose is white. I always call the fool's journey like a blank canvas or art. It's like almost like a new opportunity or a chance encounter or serving somebody or doing that for this person will then in turn have the same thing happen to you. This could be a large tip. This could be like, oh my God, this celebrity is wearing my design. Oh my God, I didn't, didn't expect to meet them there. I almost didn't come into work today. It's a good thing this is my best work because now they're interested in it. All because I took pride in it. All because it's my best. I gave 100%, not 70. I really, really like this reading. It's good things in store. It's almost like this represents a new cycle or a window of opportunity. All you have to do is stay loyal to what you're doing. It's like food in, food in one hand, platter in one hand, or rose in one hand. Roses, especially in this scenario, are used to express gratitude or a love for another person or a love for one's work or appreciation. It's like, I'm giving you this because I want it. It makes my life easier. So that could be what this good news is. I feel like, too, this person is very hard to please. I was kind of seeing this as you, but also something outside of you. So much going on, but yeah. Hard to please, but you please them. It's like on a silver platter. I don't want it on that. I want it on this. You're making choices when it pertains to that. Okay, guys. Bye.